Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So if you are really interested to do e-commerce bookkeeping, so I also teach it, teach that in my channel. So for this video, I'm gonna teach you on how you will record your Amazon sales using journal entry in QuickBooks Online. So some of the, my clients are still not into A2X automations, but uh, there's a workflow that we can use for us to be able to record our Amazon sales in QuickBooks Online. So for that case, <laughs> we're going to use journal entry in QuickBooks Online. So as you can see in the screen, it is a summary of our income and expenses in, um, in Amazon. So we downloaded every month end uh, to, to really capture the amount of sales in our um, Amazon. So the income here, it is the net sales or the credits and the refunds that cap captured by Amazon. Well, the expenses are the net fees, including the Amazon services fee, selling fees, FBA fees, shipping, and taxes. So we also have the portion for the taxes, like this one on the lower part of your screen. This includes the net taxes um, collected on product of sales and services in Amazon. So while the transfer here, this is the net deposit or and withdrawals to our account. So for this example, we will gonna post it using a journal entry in our QuickBooks Online. So how we will do it? Actually, I have um i i made yeah a template for us to to use in this um example so for this part or the column b is um the amazon items that we will found in the statement and actually it's also the same um account titles and then for the column a this is the quickbook account that we will gonna use then all the debits will represent here in the income it's also the same and the credits are the items you found on the credit side of the statement so we're gonna open again another quick book stop then click new on the upper right upper left then journal entry So first is the date. The date of these transactions is and here. Um, account activity from December 1, 2022 to um, December 31, 2022. So it is a one-month um, income statement from Amazon. So we're going to use December 31, 2022 as our journal date. Then the account. We're going to use the QuickBooks account here in our template. Amazon sales. And then credit 1,122,000. Then on the description, we, we're going to put an indication to record the Amazon sales. So this is a standard order. So, in Amazon, there are two types of order. One is standard order and the second one is invoice order. So, standard order for the month of December 2022. Then, the next account... Next account is Amazon FBA product sales refund. So the amount is 35,632. So the third item is Amazon FBA inventory credit.
it is Seven thousand seven thousand eight hundred eighty. It's on the credit side. The third item, fourth item. is Amazon adjustment. This is for the FBA liquidation proceeds. Part of the cost of goods sold. Then credit of 434 .44. Fifth item is another Amazon adjustment. This is the FBA liquidation proceeds adjustment. And a debit of 36.45. So, another is Amazon shipping credits. It is 10,889. Another is Amazon shipping credit refunds. It's 297.32. And then Amazon gift wrap credit. It's 3,538. And then we also have Amazon gift wrap credit refunds. on the debit side of 33.43. Next one is Amazon promotional rebates. Promotional rebates. It's 13,175.84. And then Amazon promotional rebate refunds. It's 252.43. Next is we're going to record all the sales uh, or the sales expense. So one is Amazon FBA selling fees. This is the fees incurred in selling that item in Amazon. So we have 167, 634. Another is Amazon selling fee refunds. It's a credit of five Next is Amazon FBA transaction fees. It is 205,591. So there is a lot of fees in Amazon. And then we also have Amazon FBA transaction fees refund. Two sixty three point twelve. Also have Amazon uh, partner carrier shipment. It is thirty one thousand eight hundred thirty five, and then. Amazon services fee. 
353.41. And then, Amazon refund administration fees is 1,060. Amazon FBA inventory credit Mentally credit. It's 8,067.32. We also have the cost of advertising. It should be Amazon. Advertising cost. So for that... So for the Amazon advertising cost, um, we need to record a new account. It's called advertising and marketing. Marketing Amazon. Amazon. So add new. So it is an expense account under advertising and promotion. The account name is advertising and marketing Amazon. To record the cost of advertising in Amazon. We can do it as a sub account in the advertising and marketing account, then save and close. And then the amount is 126,477. And then we also have a liquidation fees, which we will um, record in Amazon adjustments. It is 205.31. All the remaining balances will be recorded in Amazon clearing account, which represents um, the amount of money that um, Amazon will deposit to our bank account. So Amazon clearing for all the balances. Then here in the um, name, we should put Amazon. Record it as a customer. Then save. So once done, save and close. So now you have recorded your Amazon sales in QuickBooks Online to check what to check your record your records. You should go to reports, then.
go to profit and loss. Then um, select the period that you want to see. It is December 1, 2022. Then run report. So therefore, you now have your Amazon sales recorded in QuickBooks. So this is how it will show you in your um, profit and loss statement. So if ever you wanted to practice on how to, to record this, um, this sales in Amazon, or you wanted to, to see it for yourself, I'm just going to post a link in my in this video for you to check it. So thank you for watching. Hope you learned something for this afternoon. And see you in the next video. Bye.